Hello, I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com, and this is a 2019 GNU Headspace Snowboard. This is Forrest Bailey's Twin Asymmetrical All Mountain Freestyle Killer. It's for intermediate to advanced level riders that like ripping. I love the graphic. Um, Forrest Bailey has a, pretty much like a pro model collection and colorway for everything that he rides, like head to toe. Uh, he actually has two different boards from, from GNU. This one is uh, a, an aggressive freestyle asymmetrical deck. It's a true twin board, really. Um, so no matter which way you ride it, this way, this way it's gonna feel the exact same. The stance is centered, the side cut radiuses are centered, and so is the profile shape. But this, this deck is actually asymmetrical. There's one heel side edge and one toe side edge. There's a wood core with lighter weight woods and more pliable woods in the heel area, and there's a smaller heel side side cut radius than on the toe side edge. Uh, that makes the board easier to turn on its heels, which is actually kind of nice. This is a pliable board, but it still has a good amount of energy in pop because of the C3 profile shape. C3 is actually a, com a camber dominant style profile, so it has a nice arc. It feels like a kind of traditional camber board, but there's a raised up rocker section in between the feet. It actually doesn't touch the ground. In the snow, you see it's raised up. That gives the board a little more of a loose camber style feel. Um, with that being said, it feels like a camber board. It's still always like a camber deck, and then of course, it rips when it's on an edge, of course, because of the man attraction edges and the asymmetrical style shape. This is the most powerful and aggressive style shape that GNU happens to offer. Inside is a, uh, what's called a G1 or asymmetrical G1 wood core. Uh, there's extra polonia wood in that heel side edge that's more pliable and lightweight than the toe side edge. Majority of the deck is actually just aspen, but then there's internal birch sidewalls too. These boards are built extra tough in America by snowboarders with jobs near Canada. And uh, this is a deck that really kind of like shows the capabilities of what GNU can do with the feelings of their board. This is a fun riding deck. It's pliable, but still aggressive. It has lots of pop. And it has triax glass on top to give it a little bit more of a lively style of feel, biax glass on bottom, and then of course a centered style base. This base is gonna need to be waxed up throughout the season. You know, centered bases that aren't waxed are slower than extruded bases that aren't waxed at all. Um, so make sure to keep your eye on this thing throughout the season, wax your snowboard, keep it maintained, and then check out those mad attraction edges. These are serrated knife-like blade edges with seven serrations, smaller ones on the nose and the tail with larger ones in between the feet that help you to grip on really firm snow. So even there's a even though there's that little rockered raised up section in between your feet, uh, that extra man attraction creates greater and more contact and helps you to grip even more. Uh, this is a rad deck. Again, the colorway just absolutely rules. This is art done by Forrest Bailey. Um, you can check out this deck and the wide version at thehouse.com. You can select the link below to check them out. And then of course, leave a comment or a question. Let me know what you think of this thing here. Um, it does rip. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's cool to have a board that's you know, a little, I don't want to say a little bit softer because it's about average, but to have a, like a, a medium flexing board that still has tons of energy and pop. That's what, that's what this bad boy is right here. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more vids there, and hopefully see you guys on snow. Peace.